Okay, this is the Faces of Primitivism project for Art to Grow In. Um, we're using a black mark, uh, Sharpie marker and Tyvek paper. We only bought 200 for our school, so be sure to only use one per child unless there's an emergency. And so here we go. We start with our marker and we're doing a self-portrait. So we're going to start with the chin. They can do, try to look, maybe we need to bring mirrors and have them look in the mirror to see what shaped chin they have. And then we do a neck. And you'll see the steps here. Then we're going to do nose and eyes. There's two different ways to do nose. You can do a hook like this, or you can bring it across and down. I kind of like this one. Kind of gives an eyebrow and a nose. And we're doing a Picasso-esque cubism, so they're not supposed to be even or perfect. So then we can add the eyes. And bring a line straight down. And draw your lips off of it. And this is when we start adding more detail. And then we start adding more personality things that we are interested in, like flowers. Do some more of the fill-in, kind of like our printing pro pro printing project that we did last. <coughs> yes, I have another cold. She looks sad. Maybe she is sad, we'll do a tear. <laughs> all right, so once they're done doing all of their design, take these away because once we start adding color, you can't, you're going to ruin your Sharpies. Can't go over it. Okay, I got these at Daiso, thought I'd try them. Okay, since my phone died on me, I need to do another quick version of this, so follow along. Chin, neck. Here's this other nose where it's kind of like that. Come down, straight down, add the lips. Draw a line here, a line here. So different way of doing it. Might be easier for the young ones to do these lines. Okay. Start adding some detail. Personal symbols. Okay. 
more design work. Obviously, this is a small version, so they can get have way more fun than I'm having. Start doing your colors. Fill in all your colors. Here's my one I was working on. I was showing how to let's see, just sort of add this in here and then use the uh, Q-tip and baby oil to blend these in. And I think the idea is to get color all the way through. And then once you've got all your colors in and blended with the baby oil, then you take that little uh, bit of white paint and add some highlights. Let me show you. So it's hard to tell on this one. Here's one that has highlight, the highlighted paint. It kind of rubbed off when we took it home. So we need to make sure that you have a chance to dry. But look at this beautiful design in here. I like the way there's the eyebrows. So these will be on the board. There's mine. I use a lot of white paint to sort of add some mm -hmm. dimension to it. Here's another one. Look at that. That's cool. So for the little boys, maybe you say soccer ball, soccer balls or football or mm -hmm. something like that. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Maybe we do some color wheel work and warm colors, contrasting colors, that kind of stuff. There you go.